Um, I think it's when you reach your lowest point um, to where I just held up my hands and said, God, help me, please. I can't, I can't do this on my own. And that's when I felt him in my life and um, when I, I felt a change and that I wanted to follow in faith and trust in my Lord and Savior. Turning my life over to God, I'm shrugging off the old skin of my life and letting the new one, let it, let by Christ, grow. Because I believe love is the answer had a relationship with God but I feel like it was very one-sided where I was always asking for things and my prayers were always being answered but I wasn't <laughs> but I wasn't living for it I you know I was baptized as a baby but this is this is my decision as an adult in front of you know everybody and accept him and publicly acknowledge him and I'm going to ask that everyone here and family and friends hold me accountable to that. And uh, this is something I've always thought that I was in control and it was there was never a defining moment in my life where I felt like uh, you know, something awful happened and, and I really needed the Lord. I've, I've been blessed in so many different ways, like countless ways, that um, it was one of those things where I thought I foolishly thought I was in control and this is my chance to put the Lord at the center of my universe. I believed but I didn't follow and I put myself ahead of not only God but others and people as well and really led a, a very selfish life and this to me is a symbol of now going beyond just believing God and actually following God. I know love.